Hi everyone, this is Alex Power with My Creative Cinema. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use keyframes in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Just to let you know, this is a very powerful tool. You can do many things with it. I will tell you the basics and we will start from there. We'll be back in a moment. On this channel, I create different tutorials and gear reviews for beginner filmmakers just like you. So if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing that you won't miss any of the future episodes that I release on a regular basis. Let's get right into the tutorial. Welcome to another tutorial. This one will be about the keyframes and how to use them. I will show you two samples for scale and for the position, how to do the keyframe. And this effect you can apply to many different things. But today we will look at the principle and let's get started. First, we have 4K footage here in our bin and we wanted to drag this into the timeline, which is a 10, 1920 by 1080 sequence, 29 frames per second. So we will drag this into the timeline immediately that will ask us to either change the sequence settings or keep existing we will keep existing settings and we will make sure this is a scale to the frame size we'll scale this to the frame size that way we will receive more room to play with okay next step will be selecting the footage and Okay, we don't need the whole clip. We just want to go right up to the point where they turn. We want to go right. Okay, we want to go right up to the point where they turn away before they turn away from the camera. So they're facing each other right here. That looks perfect. Let's cut here and let's delete this part that's with, with, that we don't need. Okay, that's perfect size right now. For the demonstration purposes okay let's mute the sound and let's go to the effect control tab select the footage go to effect control tab and go to the motion in the motion we first uh, you, you see this little stopwatch next to the scale press this stopwatch right now and you will have a first keyframe created right in the beginning of the clip. It's nothing changed, it's just zero changes, 100%. We'll go about halfway down the clip and we will press this little button here and it will create another keyframe. Now we will change this to about 100 and, let's see, 170, around 170. Perfect. So let's watch how that works. Zooming in, it looks like a zoom. It looks like someone zooming actually the very carefully on the lens. So that's pretty good. So from that point, we will get to the middle when that last uh, keyframe have been created, and we will go to the position. Press the position stopwatch right there, and it will create another keyframe only for position so now we go to the very end and we want to create another keyframe but instead of pressing this button we just change the settings we will move uh, the position let's say we want to reveal the bride mates on the left side let's move all the way to the left until the last girl is being revealed and that should be perfect. After that, let's just watch the whole clip, how that works. Okay, we're zooming in. And when we zoomed in, it just slightly starts sliding to the side until the last girl is being revealed. All right, that, that works pretty good. So you got the idea on how to use that. 
you can use this thing on a different types of effects for rotation and for anchor point and for many different things so this is just a principle how to do it you'll get the principle you, you can start playing with it all right that would be it for the tutorial i will see you next time thanks for watching please let me know in the comments below for what effects do you use keyframes in adobe premiere pro cc and how do you utilize this really powerful tool I'll see you guys next time.